asterisk asterisk, the mirror's reflection, asterisk asterisk. In a quiet town nestled between ancient woods, there stood an old house with a mysterious past. The residents called it the Whitewood Manor. The Turner family, comprising Sarah, Mark, and their 10-year-old daughter Emma, moved into the house, unaware of the eerie secrets it held. The house came furnished, and among the items was an ornate mirror, seemingly untouched by time. Its golden frame and elaborate carvings made it an antique treasure. Emma, drawn by the mirror's beauty, insisted they keep it in her room. Days passed, and the Turner family settled into their new home. One evening, as Emma played in her room, she noticed something strange in the mirror. A faint image flickered, a distorted figure standing just beyond her reflection. Startled, Emma called her parents to witness the odd occurrence. Sarah and Mark dismissed it as a trick of the light, assuring Emma that mirrors often played tricks on the eyes. But as the days went by, the oddities continued. Emma's reflection seemed to move independently, making gestures she didn't make. The figure on the other side appeared more defined, like a shadow waiting to step into their world. One night, unable to resist the mystery, Emma decided to touch the mirror. As her hand made contact, a cold shiver ran down her spine. The mirror felt alive, pulsating with an energy that sent chills through her young frame. She quickly pulled away, feeling as though something unseen was watching her. The following morning, Emma awoke to find an unfamiliar drawing on her bedroom wall. It depicted a dark figure, eerily similar to the one she had seen in the mirror. Terrified, she showed her parents, who couldn't fathom how the drawing appeared overnight. The atmosphere in the house grew tense. The mirror's influence extended beyond Emma's room. The family started hearing whispers at night, soft, indistinct voices that seemed to emanate from the mirror itself. Mark and Sarah began to feel a growing unease, their sleep disturbed by restless dreams. In a desperate attempt to unravel the mystery, Mark researched the history of Whitewood Manor. It was then that he stumbled upon a forgotten tale of a family that once lived in the house. Tragedy befell them when their daughter mysteriously disappeared. The townsfolk spoke of a curse, blaming the antique mirror for the family's misfortune. Determined to break the curse, Mark sought the help of a local historian, Mr. Jenkins. Together they delved into the archives, discovering a ritual that, if performed correctly, could sever the connection between the mirror and the spirit trapped within. The ritual required gathering specific herbs and reciting an incantation during the full moon. Mark, driven by a newfound determination, collected the required items. As the full moon bathed the house in an eerie glow, the Turner family gathered in Emma's room. With the mirror as the focal point, Mark began the ritual. The incantation echoed through the silent house, and the air thickened with anticipation. As Mark spoke the final words, the room plunged into darkness. The mirror's surface rippled, and for a moment it seemed as if the otherworldly figure would break free. But just as quickly, the darkness receded. The whispers ceased, and a sudden calm washed over the room. The curse appeared to be lifted. Relieved, the Turners believed they had successfully banished the malevolent spirit. Days turned into weeks, and the family resumed their normal lives. Emma's room, once plagued by the supernatural, now felt safe. The mirror, though still present, no longer held the ominous energy that had gripped the house. Yet, as the Turners let their guard down, the mirror revealed a new truth. Late one night, Mark happened upon the mirror, catching a glimpse of his own reflection. But something was off. His reflection smirked menacingly, and Mark felt a cold hand on his shoulder, a presence that should not have been there. The once vanquished spirit had found a new vessel. The mirror's malevolence endured, passing from one victim to the next. The Turners, unaware of the lurking danger, were now bound to the mirror's curse, destined to face the consequences of the forces beyond the mirror's As the moon hung in the night sky, the mirror awaited its next victim, casting a reflection that concealed the darkness within. The eerie whispers returned.